guys, welcome to another great episode of the Anime Breakdown Show. I'm your host, VX Kingpin XV. Today, we're going to jump right to it. Today's Anime Breakdown is going to be the Young Justice League. And I can tell you guys this first, guys. I love this cartoon. Uh, it's got great dialogue, great storyline, great character development. Uh, it knows when to throw something about the background. And then when it does throw something about the background, it ties everything in together. Um, it is really good. Um, I've been enjoying this for the like what last two years. Um, they're not like Japanese anime where they drop it every week. They stop it for long periods of time, run around a lot of reruns. So for me personally, it's hard to keep up with. Uh, so I know that they started coming on, I think at 1030 on Saturdays, um, uh, standard Eastern time. Um, it's a lot going on. You got your Aqualad, Robin, Kid Flash, Superboy, uh, Miss Martian, Artemis, Zartana. And if I'm saying that right, Zartana, Zartana, however you want to say it. If somebody wants to correct me, send me a little video. Show, tell me how to pronounce it in Red Arrow. Um, right now you got Superboy who came from as a clone of Superman. Uh, you got Aqualad. He works for, you know. The, the king of the seas uh I, forgot, I don't know why i can't think of the guy's name so i'm sorry uh yeah robin who obviously works for batman kid flash who inspires to be like the flash you got miss martian uh who based off martian manhunter artemis who's based off uh green arrow zartana who's based off uh i forgot her father's name um like I said, it's hard for me to keep up with because they don't drop episodes every freaking week like they do for, um, like they do for like Japanese anime. Japanese anime has a habit of if they if they're making money off it, they're gonna pump out the episodes. I have seen Japanese anime when it's cut off and it's hard for me to find it. Whatever the case may be, uh, they kind of do like American cartoons, and that's usually due to the fact that it's not doing that well. But when a Japanese anime like Naruto uh, Bleach or One Piece or whatever the case may be, when they're doing well, they are pumping it out, whether it be flashbacks, whether it be filler, they're going to keep pumping and pumping and pumping it at you, whether you like the current storyline, they're going to keep pumping it at you, uh, but American cartoons, the difference, well, I don't want to talk about the difference, so that's a whole nother episode, but with American cartoons tend to have sometimes better, more focused storyline. They don't always go off on a tangent about nothing. Uh, so I, that's one of the major reasons why I love it. Uh, the things that have been going on from this past one was more about Robin and his character development and his backstory. But it always leads to something bigger. It's always got some underlining. So like the last two minutes of every single solitary episode is something mysterious going on in the background. Uh, some greater evil. And, uh, and you know it always gonna, it's going to lead up to some great epic battle. It's going to lead up to some hour, hopefully two hour show of something good. Uh, Young Justice League is a very tight cartoon. Um, anybody who has anything negative against it, obviously they're not a cartoon fan. It has a great story, great music in it, in, in the uh, stories. They got great characters, um, and they work with the Justice League of America, uh, which is a unified front um, of superheroes. And previously, they've just inducted new members. Uh, you got Captain Marvel, Wonder Woman, Superman, uh, the two Green Lanterns. Um, it's it's a lot it's a lot of characters to memorize who are who can be potentially important so uh you know these are my first thoughts my first breakdown uh with this past one on saturday was about robin clearing the name of his old uh circus that he used to work for uh they used to be called the graysons and this was like danger the danger family got dan danger david danger whatever these <laughs> all these danger names is and they had this guy who could absorb abilities um stealing stuff to make something like a black hole or something um of course they ended up figuring it out um but what's been going on behind the scenes that was just the, the main story which wasn't that significant you got superboy who's hooked on steroids you got artemis whose family is uh criminals but she hasn't told everybody yet um you got a lot of secrets going on that's going to eventually come out you got miss martian who's hiding the fact that she's some hideous ugly monster um that's going to come out of probably eventually um 
it's a lot going on. It's got a lot of hidden things that a lot of people aren't ta uh, ta talking about right now. So it's it, it's a it's a good episode. I can't wait to see this Saturday's episode. I'm gonna try to make sure I'm doing this on a regular basis. Saturday is usually not a good day for me, even though it is my off day. That's family day, so I'm gonna try my best to get them out as soon as possible. But uh, I'm just glad you guys came by today. You guys, guys got a chance to see that I'm into other things other than just Naruto, other than just Avatar, and this is gonna add to the repertoire of the things I do plan to talk about and get full breakdown reviews. I do have some other anime sidebar from anime I've been watching, but usually they're not full and complete thoughts. So they're just I'm not really sure how I feel about those. But anyway, as always, thank you guys for coming by. Rate, comment, subscribe. Peace.